So let's start with an overview of Couchbase's architecture in general. Uh, Couchbase is a distributed data platform or a distributed database, which means that it operates in a cluster of nodes or servers. And distributed architectures in general, they provide many different benefits. Most of us are familiar with them at this point. Um, but the primary one I want to talk about here is it provides high availability, which means when you're using Couchbase in the unfortunate you know, situation where you might have a node or even a multiple node failure, Couchbase can continue to serve the client and applications that are connected to it without any disruption at all. Now, how many nodes and what node types you eventually deploy to your Couchbase cluster is really going to depend on your underlying application requirements. Uh, for example, you know, if we were to start developing a new application tomorrow, and we might start with the simple use case of our login. Um, you know, whether it's a web app or a desktop application, I'm going to pass my user ID and password, and the application is going to fetch my user profile and preferences and populate all that information within the application based off of my user ID. And this is a great example of our key value access pattern or data node. Though it's the blue box all the way in the far left. The key value access pattern in general is incredibly fast. It, uh, I don't think you can find a faster access pattern from a data access perspective uh, than key value. And most NoSQL solutions are built upon this access pattern. This includes, you know, DynamoDB, MongoDB, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it, even though inherently key value access is very fast, it's important to note that Couchbase's key value is even faster. Uh, we have what we call a memory first architecture, which means the clients will primarily interact, and that just means primarily read and write, with the memory or RAM on the underlying server. That means you know handling disk and persistent operations asynchronously behind the scenes. This also means you never need to use a cache with Couchbase. Uh, you will not find the same guarantee or statement with our competitors. Um, you know, we right side out of the box will support low latency, sub millisecond, high throughput use cases. So what happens when you don't have your key? Um, let's continue to use the application login example and let's say the user's forgotten their user ID. Now you need some way to query or access that user's information using some other property besides the key, besides the user ID. Uh, typically this is email address, it can be first and last, it can be date of birth, etc. Uh, but this is a great use case for our document database features or query note type, it's the orange box. Now different NoSQL solutions in our competitive space approach this very differently. Um, DynamoDB, for example, has a very limited query functionality. It's, it's almost non-existent. Uh, they're pretty open that, you know, it's primarily a key value uh, database. MongoDB has a proprietary language called MQL. Um, it requires a fair amount of upfront investment uh, just to learn and create the expertise to work with it. And it also creates some dangerous continuity challenges, in my opinion. Uh, most of us in the large enterprises were familiar with those legacy applications that have been, you know, lying around for a long time. They were developed, you know, over 10 years ago. The person who wrote it's long gone. Nobody knows how to fix it. Nobody knows how to read it. That's something that we should strive uh, to avoid, in my opinion. Now, Couchbase, in contrast, is ANSI SQL compliant, uh, which means we offer the full SQL language support. Um, it, of course means that you can leverage all that existing expertise already in your organization. Um, I don't think there's a CS program in the in the country that does not teach uh, SQL. It also means you can leverage all those uh, SQL functions that you've grown to love, you know, like rank, roll up, cube, um, and, and there's many, many more. Um, but more importantly, in the case of migrations, in the previous case that we just talked about, it also means you can leverage your existing SQL uh, with very minimal refactoring cost. Many organizations are faced with these aging applications. They need to get more scalability. They need to get more performance, uh, but they're really, you know, they're, they're tied down by the, these legacy databases. Well, with Couchbase, because we're ANSI SQL compliant, you can refactor and, and move that database and those applications over to Couchbase and use all of that existing SQL uh, that is likely gonna work just fine. Uh, that you know with very minimal refactoring cost 
So the next node type is our eventing JavaScript engine. It's the purple box right in the center of the screen. Now, in some sense, this is very similar to the traditional relational triggers uh, that we're all kind of familiar with, right? You have on update, on delete, on insert. And after these events, we want to process or execute some type of business logic against that record. Uh, with Couchbase, it is that. It, is, uh, it does accomplish that use case, but it's also so much more. Um, because we use vanilla JavaScript as our underlying execution, execution engine, really anything that you can do in JavaScript, you can do in eventing. Uh, for example, a lot of customers use this for data enrichment. I have a new user. Let's say that we're using our new application development example. I have a new user that just created a new profile and we're going to rip out some properties let's say name or ip address uh, and we want to enrich that record we want to basically get demographics and additional information on that user so we better know how to market to them or how better to have our application serve them this is a great use case for eventing you would put an on insert event on that bucket on that document and when any new document gets inserted into that space the on insert event will, will process it will pull out those properties send them over the wire uh, to either an on-prem service you have set up in-house or maybe even a third party uh, rest service and it's going to respond back with that data it's going to update that record and iterate continuously as more and more inserts are added it's also great for data transformation let's say you have a data source that's providing you data in xml and you, maybe you even want to keep a copy of XML, but you also want to convert this into JSON so you can do some joining of, of other data sets and other things that you have within your database. You can do that as well with eventing. So the next node type is our full text search node type. Uh, this is very similar to third party solutions like Elasticsearch or Lucene. Basically, anytime you need to work with imperfect input strings maybe a search bar where someone may be slightly misspelling something with a couple different you know misspellings but you still need to provide back the most relevant and accurate search results um, or a product catalog maybe you have multiple search terms something like blue extra long pants or, or something complex and compound like that um, couchbase out of the box provides this capability uh, it's completely free and included it's just another node type that you can leverage uh, within your cluster it comes with fuzzy matching, uh, relevance scoring, inverted indexes, uh, and many other features, uh, basically to cover all of your use cases that require uh, complex text matching. The last node type we're going to talk about is our real-time analytics node type that you can see here in red. This is probably our fastest growing node type. Most organizations are rapidly investing in data science initiatives. Uh, BI analytics is, of course, ever growing. Uh, really, any process to gain actionable insight uh, from your operational data. Now, our analytics product is also SQL based. Uh, however, it is a completely different query engine from our query node. It's actually a massively parallel processing engine that is designed from the ground up to handle very large, very expensive aggregating queries that, that are going to traverse large data sets or, or many, many data sets. There's no ETL requirement with Couchbase Analytics. It actually maintains its own shadow copy of the data set that you want to gain insight from. So you never need to worry about, you know, maybe throwing a, a monster query at it or, or draining uh, your operational resources because, you know, some intern uh, threw a terrible written query at, at your data set. Um, it contains a bunch of feature functionality that really helps gain insight. One of those is machine learning integration. So you can actually take your trained machine learning models, upload it right to the analytics node, and you can reference those machine learning models right within your analytics queries, uh, gaining predictive insight uh, through the UI and analytics or actually through your client code. So from an application perspective, you can add in predictive analytics through your queries and, and process that information in real time. There is actually one additional node type uh, that Couchbase offers. It's a new node type that was released in 7.1 and it's our backup node type. Uh, it follows the same architectural principle as our real-time analytics. Basically, we want to isolate and pull away the operational drain 
that backup processes take. We want to make sure that your key value nodes and your query nodes are isolated and not impacted by any backup operations that may be happening. So it's an additional node type that you can actually throw up. It has direct integration with AWS S3 and Azure Blob Store um, and you know allows you to handle uh, backup operations very gracefully.